In this tutorial, I'll be going into more depth about FL Studio's Piano Roll. I touched on this earlier, but that was only scratching the surface of what this can do. You've seen how automation can be edited within the Piano Roll. Other parameters can be edited here as well, like panning and fine pitch, in addition to velocity, which is also volume for most synthesizers. Left click and drag along here to change these values, or right click across multiple values to create a smooth line. The Mute tool is great for comparing what a part would sound like with certain notes muted without actually removing those notes. Hit T to switch to the Mute tool, then click on any notes that you want to mute. Click again to unmute them. Slicing is useful for splitting up chords like this one. If you find the slice to be too fiddly, you can hold left shift and it will only cut straight down. There are a couple of views in the piano roll which can be changed at any time. Pressing M cycles between them, or you can click up here. Which mode you use is a matter of preference and which is more aesthetically pleasing. But in the named key mode you can see more information about each note, and also change the vertical zoom level. Here are a few handy piano roll shortcuts. Control and C and Control and V will copy and paste notes, respectively. E switches to the Select tool, and P back to the Pencil tool. Or, remember, you can use Control and left click to select instead. Double click and drag on the timeline to select and loop a section of the pattern. You can also right click in the timeline. You can then use Control and B to duplicate the selected section. Many new FL Studio users are initially confused about how to create triplets, since there is seemingly no control for that. To do this, select the one third beat option either at the main snap dropdown or the snap dropdown for the piano roll specifically. This divides each beat into thirds. If you want even faster triplets, select 1 6th beat. 